with another video and guess what time it is wig time so i'm back with another edition of wig slay tuesday and today i'm super excited i'm going to be reviewing a human hair unit for you all okay whoo lace human hair that's out of my comfort zone but i'm super excited to give it a try and see how this unit turns out so a hair company reached out to me and wanted me to review one of their products this hair, hair company is called yolova and this is the beautiful unit that they sent me it's all nice and still packaged so i'm going to unbox it with you all here on camera let's see what they included in this package and i'll let you guys know what unit i picked all right all right so this is how the unit comes packaged they had it all nice in the bubble wrap and everything again the hair company is yolova and their little saying is born for beauty okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open the box here and on the inside of the box they have a cute little saying and then all the goodies here so let me show you what it says here so it says explore your hair journey Yolova is eager to make black women's hair purchases simple and satisfied we provide 100 percent premium human hair at an affordable price your most imaginative hair journey starts with Yolova okay we'll see we'll see how good this is okay so they included a thank you card that just says thanks and welcome and then they also included some lashes in the box so that's nice and they also included a wig cap, which is also nice. You can never have too many wig caps, you guys. So you have that. And then they also included some tweezers. And tweezers are going to be useful for plucking that hairline. Or at least that's what I see when people be doing their wigs. To be landing, laying and slaying their wigs. So, okay. So this is how the actual unit comes packaged. It's in this like nice silk bag here with the company logo on it. And this is how it is it's inside of another bag and let's show you all what it's looking like so if i'm remembering correctly i got the deep wave 24 inch um 180 density unit and i think it's a 13 by 4 13 by 4 or 13 by 6 um lace and so if and honestly i don't remember off the top of my head so i'm going to have it like listed here on the screen so you guys can see exactly all the details of the unit um but here it is out the pack hoo, hoo, hoo. okay so the 24 inches is definitely different for me y'all know i'm more of a short hair kind of girl but let's go ahead and open her up so i'm gonna take this out and i'm gonna go ahead and take this net off oops i'm gonna go ahead and take this net off and shake her out a little bit she's looking pretty though she's looking really pretty okay so this is what the back looks like she's really soft oh my god wow she's really soft okay so that's what the side looks like that's the length here yeah it's a nice length and that's the other side okay and then that's the back let me get it kind of close so you all can get a nice texture shot here yeah, the unit looks really good. So let me give you all the cap construction here on the inside of it. Um, we have that lace. I think that's that 16 by 4. I'm sorry, the 13 by 4 lace. You got some baby hairs here in the front. You know, you can see through it. You see that skin. So that's nice. It does come with uh, two combs, a nice mesh cap. And then it comes with um, adjustable straps here. And then um, lace in the back as well for the nape of the neck and then another comb. So it comes with three combs. So that is a nice construction here. What I'm going to do is just throw the unit on my head just to see how it fits. And then, um, and then just to give you all an idea of what it looks like straight out the pack. And then I am going to go ahead and wash the unit after that. And then we're going to try to, we're going to try to lay this. Okay, y'all, we're going to try to cut this lace off together and we're going to try to lay this bad boy because... I don't know what I'm doing, but I hope I get it right. So I'm going to go ahead and plop this bad boy on and show you what she is looking like straight out the pack. Okay. It's a pretty spacious wig cap, so that's really good. This is what the hairline is looking like. It does go all the way from ear to ear, so that is awesome. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to go in with my powder because this lace is super light. But it fits perfectly over my ear, so that's awesome. When I cut the lace, it's going to lay real nice and flat right here. So yeah, this is what it's looking like straight out the pack. Okay, so this is what the front looks like. All right. Mm -hmm. And this is what the side looks like. 
Okay, this is what the back looks like. And this is what the other side looks like. Okay, and on me, I am 5'4". This is 24 inches and it falls down to my breast area here. So I actually really like the length. I feel like it's not too long for me. And I like the density of it too. I don't know if it's 180 or not because like I said, this is really like my first time playing around with like human hair units, especially long ones. Um, but it's a nice density for me and how I like to wear my wigs because to me it still looks pretty natural. I am going to go ahead and wash this unit, maybe pluck it a little bit, and then show you all how I install it. I have been watching a lot of reviews with people where they do the glueless method, which is what I think I want to do because I don't want to deal with, you know, losing my edges. I already don't have any. I'm going to watch some more tutorials here, get educated, okay, and then try to install a band so that we can um, have it laid nice and flat on the edge and then lay a couple of baby hairs and be set to go. So I will see y'all soon. Okay, happy people, I am back. It is a few days later and I have washed uh, shampooed, conditioned, and um, put some leave-in conditioner in the unit. And so I just want to show you really quick what she is looking like. So this is what the unit looks like after it has been washed. So this is the natural curl texture of this unit. It looks so beautiful, you guys. Like, I had no issues with washing this hair. And you can see here, let me see if I can zoom you out. There we go. And you can see here, it is nice, wavy, and bouncy, you guys. Like, the way this hair is just, like, falling apart right now, yeah, it looks really nice. So, I'm going to show you all the, the products that I used um, to wash this unit. So, I did use the Aussie Miracle Moist um, Shampoo and Conditioner. I actually use this on my natural hair, and it gives me great curl definition. So, I figured since this was a human hair wig, it would work well for that, and it did. And then I went in after that with some Cantu Natural Hair Curl Comeback. And I used this to kind of just bring the curl definition back into the hair. And then after that, um, I just put in the Miracle Worker Hawaiian Silk 14-in-1 um, conditioner. And um, that left it really nice and hydrated. So what I am going to do is show you all how I'm going to prep my hair um, to be worn underneath this wig and then try to cut the lace with you all here on camera if i have too much of a difficult time with cutting on camera i'm just going to do it off camera um and then just come back with the finished look i am going to also be sewing an elastic band into this wig and so i saw um another youtuber do this and it was really helpful um so i've already cut it and what you do is you'll want to measure i measure just above my ear like right here and then right here right so just above the ear on both sides and then once you get this band right here you'll want to take one inch off of this so that it'll give the wig a little bit of snugness and so that's what i did with this piece here right so i cut those are the exact same size and then i just cut this little piece off so that's about one inch and so when i do that and put it in the same place above the ear you see that it's a little bit more snug right so that's just how i how you cut the band because i'm actually going to sew a band into this unit as well so with you guys here i just want to slick down my edges here um i am going to be using the cream of nature argon oil perfect edges along with style factor edge booster i like using these two together because it gives me a nice strong hold so i'm going to go ahead and do that here with you all here on camera okay so my actual hair um is just these two braids here um, I've already washed my hair, deep conditioned it, all of that. I'm just going to crisscross my braids in the back. I'm just going to crisscross my braids in the back and then just tuck them in here on the sides. And I'm not going to worry about pinning it down because the wig cap is going to help me keep it nice and secure. So, that is what we got here for my look. And then I'm going to just take some of this and I'm going to put this edge control slightly behind where I really want it to go. So, like, maybe right around here okay let's see okay like so and then the edge um the edge booster i'm gonna go in on my actual edge and lay that down and when i do this combination you guys like my hair it stays put put like it don't go nowhere okay so i have a mirror here i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this and then i'll be right back Yes. Okay, y'all see how nice and slick and laid down these are? 
that's how it's supposed to be laid. So now I'm going to take um, another elastic band here, like so, and just strap this around. And I show you all, I think I showed you all this in my previous video with my uh, lock wig, where you just put this on and then apply your wig cap on top. And then to make sure your hair doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to do that here. Like so. And I do have two wig caps today, so I just want my hair to lay down extra nice and flat. So I'm going to go ahead and put on this the first wig cap. And I'm going to put that over the band that I just put on, like so. And then my second wig cap. Alright, so that is that. Y'all see how slick laid down this is? And because I have that extra band up in here, this hair is not going to go anywhere. So, let me go ahead and throw this unit on again. And I'm going to show you all how I color the lace. And then also how I um, style her. And this is going to be a glueless install because y'all, I can't, I can't do the glue. I can't do the glue. But again, this is what the lace is looking like here. It is a 13 by 4. So correction, I think I had said 13 by 6 earlier. But yeah, that's what the inside is looking like again. Okay. So this is what she is looking like on the hair again y'all this unit is just really pretty okay yeah she is pretty nice and flowy though so i'm trying to decide i think i want to part her on the side over here i think i want her to have a side part yeah i think i'm gonna like that look so that's how i'm gonna want the part in my hair when it's all said and done so i'm gonna go ahead and color the lace and then put it back on and we will go from there, you guys. To color the lace, you'll want to take your liquid foundation of choice. I use the CoverGirl Queen Foundation in Rich Mink. This is like my skin tone in a bottle. And I'm going to just put some on the back of my hand here like so. I am going to just kind of spread it out a little bit just to get it nice and thinned out. And then I'm going to go into the inside of the unit here and just press that powder in. And this is going to be to kind of tint the lace to make it not so bright. <laughs> Cause this stuff is super bright okay okay so next after I'm done with that I am gonna go in and with my actual powder and set what I just put on the lace I'm gonna set that in place so that the powder doesn't move around too much so I'm using the covergirl Evan I'm sorry the black radiance ebony that's the this is my skin powder this is the powder I use for everything so I'm just gonna go through and pat that into the scalp some more and this is gonna give me the color that I need it's gonna give that scalp look okay yeah I'm very beginner friendly at this stuff so if you all have never cut lace before I'm right there with you I'm, I'm experimenting with this and trying this here on camera with you so I'm hoping I get it done right so now that the powder has been applied, I'm going to go through and put her on one more time and see. Okay, you see how much of a difference that made already? Yeah, it made a big difference. All right, cool. So this is what I'm going to do because, like I said, it's my first time cutting lace and I don't really want to mess it up here on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off camera and then I'm going to apply this strap here. And as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to let y'all know how she is looking. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I did cut the lace here. So I know y'all can see that it's like a lot of extra lace right here. And honestly, I was just a little bit scared to get too close to the hairline. I think this side I did really good and I kind of need to get this side to look like that. But overall, this is a glueless situation because I did, um, I do have my band here. So um, yeah, I'm liking how it looks so far. Before I do any more cutting of the lace, I just want to put some powder here around the edges just to see if I might be able to get it to blend in a little bit more. So the part is back in here. And then I want to just take my powder foundation here and I'm just going to go around that lace and just see if I can get it to look 
a little bit more natural. And if not, then I probably just need to go in and cut a little bit more. Okay, so did that help at all? I'm not really sure, but I think I'm going to just kind of leave it like it is because like I said, y'all, I ain't trying to mess this up. So I am going to show you all that it is glueless. So you can just take it right off here like so. And this is how the lace looks that I cut here. And this is the band that I installed, right? So if you want to install this after you've taken it out, you want to fold this lace part first. Lay that flat on your head and then pull this over in the back like so okay like so so actually yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cut this excess lace off really quick I'll be right back okay I am back so I think I did the lace how I like it to my liking thus far um as you can see again it is glueless so I'm gonna go ahead and lay some baby hairs there this ear tab here I technically could cut it off right and then it'll blend in a little bit more but I'm not ready to do that yet I'm actually running a little bit late for church so I'm gonna go ahead and just put some loose all over the unit then just put some loose through the unit here just to get it to curl up nicely and everything I laid some baby hairs I'm gonna be back I'm gonna tell you all how I did it cuz it's really hard trying to do this on camera <laughs> You guys, I am a newbie at laying lace. So let me know how I did for my first time cutting lace and installing this. So this is what the hairline is looking like. I just used a little bit of mousse to lay the edges down. On this side, my little edge here is still kind of showing, but I figure it's not really a big deal because, you know, my hair is going to be like this. Okay, so it is much, much later, but baby, I have finally laid this wig and got it looking tight and right just like I want. So y'all spoiler alert i am absolutely loving this hair so i did go ahead and wear it to church okay i was running late earlier so that's why i didn't have a chance to film this earlier but i wore it to church and people loved it and i love it too so yeah i'm gonna give you all a closer look at the hairline here so i did just put down a little bit of gel and i laid my baby hairs ever so slightly so yeah i am definitely loving this unit it's really nice and full um if you want i was going to add some mousse to it to give it kind of like that water wave look but i'm actually liking how it looks like with the fluffy curls so maybe later on when i wear my unit again i'll show you all what it looks like kind of with the wet look but yeah i am really feeling this unit a lot you guys so the unit i got is the water wave it's a 13 by 4 inch lace i got it in the color natural black it is 180 density and it is a 24 inch units so i'm really liking this a lot it is a little different for me but i definitely wanted to try something outside of my comfort zone but yeah you also definitely go over to your lova's website and browse around and see what you might be able to find that you would like so they have a variety of different units they have everything from bone straight to super kinky hair and then they have a variety of different colors on there so yeah i actually i got something that was kind of in between um y'all know me i normally stick with like super natural kinky textured hair units but you know this time i wanted to try something different a little bit looser you know something in between that straight and curly yeah i'm really liking that unit a lot if you all do go over to your lovers website make sure you use my discount code rose so that you all can get 20 percent off of your order because to be honest with you guys i think the unit is well worth it it might be a little bit of an investment up front but i do think it's worth it because i'm someone who's used to wearing synthetic units where you wear them like maybe once or twice and then toss them but with human hair units something like this if you take care of it right you can get years of use out of it so yeah i'm definitely feeling myself with this okay i'm feeling myself feeling myself a a a okay <laughs> I am going to leave all the details for this unit down in the description box below so be sure to check that out so y'all let me know what you all think about this unit like i said it's different for me so what do y'all think do y'all like the look is it given because i think it is given everything that it's supposed to give you know so let me know what you all think about this unit down in the comments um i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the happy family i would love to have you and as always you guys Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Yes. Slay, sis, slay. Okay.
Yes. Give that body, okay? Give that body. Yes. I'm really feeling this unit, y'all. Y'all see this texture? Y'all see this body? Do y'all see this? It is really beautiful. I'm feeling myself. Feeling my, feeling my, hey, hey, feeling myself. What? Okay. Um. <laughs>